In this video, I would like to show you some useful Linux commands. They can be very helpful in privilege escalation and for the case when you want to create a pivot point to compromise other hosts in the network. When you get an access to remote system, the first thing you should do is to get as more information as possible about current account and compromised system. The following commands will provide you basic information about user. Basic information about system you can get from these commands. If you are going to create a pivot point to other machines in the network, you should know everything about network settings. For example, routing table will give you information about routers. ARP cache can provide the list of hosts which communicate with a compromised machine. Information about running services and install applications is very useful when you want to elevate your current user privileges. Besides, it can help you to find a way how to install persistent backdoor. More information about privilege escalation and persistent backdoor you will find in one of the next videos. If you are going to retrieve the list of local users and their passwords, the following files will give you desired information. In Linux and Unix systems, user accounts and password hashes are stored in two separated files. For example, passwd file looks like this. It contains user account and some information about user. The password hash is stored in shadow file. It looks like this. It contains password hash and information about password. For example, when the password expires, how often it should be changed and so on. We'll discuss more about passwords a little bit later in the section Password Cracking. It is also important to know which options you have for uploading and downloading the files. It can be backdoor, keylogger or some sensitive documents. By default, some Linux distributions already have installed one of the listed programs. If you want to know which program is available for you, just use one of these commands in the picture below. This is not a complete list of useful commands. Everything depends on your mission on the compromised machine. But the commands we listed here will be helpful in any cases.